Morning everybody, I am the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter and I've decided to come to Saltwick Bay today. Uh, I was going to go on the Olderness but then I woke up at about half four and thought why not, I'll travel up north. It's on the first one on the beach, the tide's on its way out now. Let's see what today brings. So I've come to the point and the tide's still a bit high, so I've got some nodules. I'm going to split off and see if there's out inside of them. We've got a nice duck in there. The centre's still there, so that's good. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. I think it's a harper. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. That's a nice one, I? Got one there that doesn't need cracking, obviously. No, not in that one. And this one looks a bit flat, but you know, we'll give it a go. No, not in that one. And the best one there is the, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Harposaurus. It's really nice. Looks in really good condition as well. So that's one to prep during lockdown. As you can see, the tad's just on its way out here. I'll be able to creep round there soon. Just wait for a <laughs> bit of slack water. I'll see you at the other side. So I found a couple more. There is broken ammonites absolutely everywhere. It's, it's so heavily picked this place, especially during the summer months. I mean, you can see them scattered around. You know, it's... It's slim pickings, but there is always a chance of some coming out the cliffs. Just got this nice duck, which someone had missed. There's another one next to it, which is on that matrix. So I might try and stick that back together, but then I might just pen all that out and just reveal the one I'm in it because it looks, looks like it's in nice condition. The center's there. Some nice silches on it. So I'll put them in my bag and I'll carry on round the headland. So I'm having a good day for these ammonites today. I think they're harposaurus. I could be wrong. But again, really good preservation. Just pop the centre out, clean up round the bottom. And that'll be lovely. So this poor thing's just giving me an heart attack. It looks like he's struggling. Maybe he's just resting, I don't know, but it's a bit of a climb to the sea for him. You often see him alone, they've got separated from the parents. And just give them a wide berth, leave them alone. There's not a lot we can do. There is a, a telephone number you can ring to report them. 
but yeah, it doesn't look like he's doing too well. Or she. Got another nice duck. Hopefully the centre's there on that one. And have a smaller duck. And then I don't know if you can see the little spans on it, but I think it's a perinoceros. So again, a bit more material for me to prep during the lockdown, which is always good. I've just got the last point to head around now. That's I think that's where they find all the marine reptile, but that's top secret apparently. Nice bellamite sunshot. Part of the fragma comb there. There's another one there. There's another one there. Another one there. Very slippery on this shell. Got a few piles there to look through. Hopefully get some good. So I don't normally collect many bellamites, but this one is the biggest one I've ever seen. Well, the longest one. So I'm going to get that out. It will come out in a few pieces, uh, but I'll make sure I stick it back together. I'll let you know how many pieces in a bit. Well, this is always nice to see. It's not often we come across fern. Got a lovely imprint there. Got some nice fair imprints. It looks like there's some more going through it. So I'll give this one a bit of a split and see if if there's anything collectible inside. Lovely. So I've managed to reveal this huge leaf. But I mean, I'll try and split it, but it's, as you can see, it's coming away in pieces, so we'll try, I'll try and get it down the back, but it's a big piece, it's a big piece. Got a few little pieces there, nice bit of fern, There's something else under there. No, unfortunately it was too friable. I have got a lovely piece there to take home with me, which is always nice. I'll have a little scout around here, see if there's any more blocks that contain leaves, because they are quite rare. Well, there's my Uldi for the day. It's probably the most battered Uldi I've ever had. But I mean, the, the centre's there, so it'll prep from the other side and look half decent. There's no more plants up here, I've had a good look around now. There's a few little fragments here and there. But I'll just have a look down that next point and then I'll be on my way back up for the tide will be out by then so I can have a look at the low water tide. Okay, so normally I get three or four hildes from this place, but today I'm having three or four of these beauties. I'm sure it's a Harposerus or maybe an Elegantisaurus. I'm not 100% I'm not of my species, but there's some lovely sutures on that. I've got the shell at that side, so I'll stick it back together again and prep from this side. It'll be lovely. Now, it's not often I see huge fragments at Salt Lake Bay. But this is a huge fragment of ammonite. I mean, I, I really don't know what species it is. But it's massive. Be alright if I found something like that complete. But, I mean, it's too big for me to take just for a fragment. 
That is a solid lump. Thought I'd show you it all. So, on second thought, I am going to take it. I'll give it a little tap just to see if that big nodule will come off the side and, and it popped off really easy. So, I'll take it. It'll look good as a doorstop, I suppose. So, I don't know, the eldest engines ended up right up here. Might have come out the cliff. Well, if the sea is that strong, then, then that's off to it. There's another piece just down here. Oh, there's a piece in there. And then there's, I think that's a chassis. God knows. You can sort of see an axle there and stuff, so... Power of the sea, eh? Don't mess with it. Seagulls are having an heart attack that I'm here. See the fishing boats? There's been quite a few of them out today. Maybe they're all getting the fishing before the lockdown. I don't, don't know if they'll be allowed out. So this, I'm, well I'm on my way back now. I'm, I've come, really this is all sandstone now. I don't think there's much in here. Um, but it was round here. I got my Nautilus. So, you know, there's always a chance of something, something different. Um, I might show you it when I get back home as a bit of a bonus. It's not uh, the greatest Nautilus, but it's my Nautilus, so there we are. Right, I'll see you soon. Hopefully I'll get something good on the way back. There's an ichthyosaur skull out there somewhere to be found. I've got another fragment, fragment, sorry, Phylloceros. And I remember Neil telling me to split these open because you sometimes get ammonites inside. And they weren't kidding. There is absolutely loads of ammonites running all the way through it. So that will look amazing because I'll prep it from one side and then, well, I'll probably prep it from that side because the shell's worn. So that'll be on sure. And then all the ammonites will be on top. And then the same with this piece. There's ammonites running all the way through it. There's a I think a fragma cone in there. So cheers for that Neil. My bag's getting heavy. And these rocks are slippy. So it's not amazing, but it's somewhat different. Some nice worn bellamites. There's an ammonite impression on the back. There's a broken dack there. Looks like some shells in there. Part of an ammonite there. They are scattered around everywhere here, but I mean, it's quite hard accessibility coming here. You've got to be good on your feet. All the headland is really slippery. Yeah, just some shells in there. Got enough shells to last a lifetime, so I won't be collecting that. Let me know if I'm missing out guys. <laughs> Just walked past that ichthyosaur skull, no doubt. I mean, the amount you cover on the beach is, is minimal. I, I walked up near the cliff and then I'm choosing this line on the way back, but there's, you know, there's, there's all that in there and there's all that over there. You've just got to be lucky on the day, I suppose. There's another broken dock. Part of an ammonite in there. And maybe a bivalve. Oh, 
looks like there's part of an ammonite down here. Oh. Just a small fragment of one. That's the imprint of a Hildi. Hildioceros. One of my favourite ammonites. I've got some really big ones of them. Right, I'll keep looking and I'll see you soon. So I've just come across a bit of a hot spot on the way back. Got some nice bellamites. Got a nice duck. It's a nice duck in here, it's lovely and golden. That'll be in really good condition. Shame a bit about a bit of deformation during preservation there, but we've got a partial and then this was toasted. So I thought I'd give it a split. And the scent is all there. So yeah, not bad. Just seems to like where the tides washed it all up into a little section. You, you can see there's little bits everywhere. There's part of an ammonite there. There's little fragments here and there. Some impressions in here. Yeah. One there. So you ever come across these spots? It is always worth hanging around for a bit and moving some rocks about. A little fragment there. There's another fragment there. Another fragment right near my foot. Can you see it? Right there. Well that's me done for the day guys, it's been a really good day, I've had some really nice fans, the sun is shining, so what more can you ask for? Thanks for joining me again. My bag is really heavy now, <sighs> I've got to get up the cliff. I think fish and chips might be in order on the way home, Whitby's not far away. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing. Thanks again, see you soon.